and I know this is a sweeping statement, I'm probably a bit unfair, but as a sweeping generalization, mm -hmm. most leftists are totally humorless. Yeah. They are bitter, they are angry, they are ideologues, and they are miserable. Yeah. Very few of them have a sense of humor. And even now, when you look at this, the scope of late night television, mm -hmm. it used to be Johnny Carson and then, um, you know, Jay Leno. And they would make fun of both sides of the aisle. And it was uh, bipartisan Saturday Night Live, too. Same thing. Mm -hmm. And because the left has gone completely off the rails and we are in a rolling Marxist revolution right now, mm -hmm. um, they, are, they have all become now just water carriers for the left. It's, it's the Democrats and the communists. The leftist enforcement arm is the imperial media, which is Nixon's phrase, by the way, which I've now adopted, the imperial media. Mm -hmm. And so all of these, these late night hosts who are hired to be funny and deliver some levity at the end of the day for people, like we used to, you know, America used to come together and watch Johnny Carson. It was pretty much it for a long time, right? Mm -hmm. It was like Jack Parr and then Johnny Carson. And there were only three networks. So we had a common cultural touchstone. We had the movies. We had three networks. So everybody was watching Ed Sullivan on Sunday nights. And then at 1130 at night, after your local news, the entire country was watching Johnny Carson, right. right? And so everybody had a commonality that they could relate to their fellow American. Hey, man, did you see Johnny Carson last night? Oh, yeah, he had on Ruth Buzzy and she was hysterical, <laughs> you know? Or uh, B. Arthur was <laughs> hilarious last night on Carson. Did you see it? Now everything is atomized. And everything has been fractured culturally. And so we're all like seeking out our own little niche to have our viewpoints reinforced right. because there's no sort, there's no more common ground for sure, but you don't have anything culturally that's common ground. And all of these so-called funny guys are no longer funny mm -hmm. because they've gotten political. So they've alienated half of their, uh, half of their audience. They're not interested in appealing to the other 50% of the country because they need their left-wing street cred. Mm -hmm. 